All right, we're in Valencia. What's the day? It is April 9th, Easter 2023. Cool. And, um, we wanted to address today um, the difference between hallucinations and imaginary friends. Yes, because we've been talking about this for years, but apparently it's it's very hard for people to comprehend this. And you can tell by the hospitals. They're labeled behavioral, behavioral centers right? instead of mental, which it should be. And I think part of the issue that happened with misperception with myself and of course came to you, yes. is that um, I filmed you as an infant. Yes. And I said things about you that I didn't even know were anything. Um, but why don't you talk about growing well, up in general? Growing up, well, in my early life, ages two through four, I thought, my hallucinations were imaginary friends because I would play with them and whatnot. But then they started telling me to do, telling me to do bad things. And then I was like, maybe they're not. Maybe there's something else. And then at five years old, I um, I knew something wasn't right. And at seven, I found out that they were really hallucinations. And you were telling me what is the difference? between hallucinations and imaginary friends. Because once people actually can digest the, the difference. difference, there may be some changes, positive changes, but right now they're still in the behavioral movement. Right. And the problem with that is that some of it's behavioral, but- Some of it's not. And the, and, um, go ahead. So the difference is Imaginary friends are playmates, you know, you have them there, you play tea party and whatnot with them. Hallucinations are different. Hallucinations are like a mean boss who's always on your back. It's like they say, you know, do this or I will do this to you. And a lot of those things are bad things that you wouldn't normally do as a person. Okay, and the reason really quick why we're doing this and why I keep doing this over and over is because we're trying to share science here the and brain what this, what this illness really is <laughs> yeah so because too many people think this illness is a joke and a myth and it is very very real so just so people on the internet know why we're doing this again and again and again and hoping to find better ways to explain it is because it needs to be explained and just, i'm hoping i'm praying that eventually some really smart college students are going to come along and want to learn about this exactly so here it is for you guys all right happy easter happy easter